In this edition of Palm TV, we look at one of the Palm Jumeirah's flagship developments, Atlantis. And we welcome the first residents onto the new Eighth Wonder of the World. If anything can be called a mega resort, Atlantis the Palm is it. Coming in at a cost of 1.5 billion US dollars and boasting over 1,500 rooms, visitors to this world-class resort will be able to enjoy spectacular sights, including suites that have curtains opening up to marine tanks with over 65,000 species of fish. It's one of the rare places you can truly have breakfast with the sharks. As the name suggests, the design of the entire resort is themed around the ancient legend of the lost city of Atlantis. And what's unique is Atlantis is built on the lost city. It's one of the few places in the world where you really can explore, look at the most incredible marine life. You're really able to go scuba diving without getting wet and seeing the underworld of the water like no other place on Earth. Another exciting part of Atlantis will be the Aqua Venture Park, covering 17 hectares of exhilarating water rides and unbelievable fun. The centerpiece of this will be the Leap of Faith, a near vertical slide over 27 meters in length that descends through a tank full of sharks. Construction is well underway, and when complete, the water park will be the largest in the region, able to cater for over 6,000 visitors per day. There's seven other rides that are just really exhilarating and fun that you got to be there personally to enjoy. So I think it's what's unique about it is adults get to enjoy themselves and can be kids for a day and kids really just get to be wowed and have a full day of fun and excitement. Overseeing this massive construction is owner Sol Kersner. With over 30 years experience creating resorts across the world such as Atlantis Paradise Island in the Bahamas, that very fine line that you've got there. Yeah. Sol pays great attention to every detail of the project. And there are a number of exciting announcements to look forward to in the future. Atlantis has an incredible lineup of culinary experiences. I mean, we'll be home to over 15 restaurants within the resort. We've also added to that some wonderful celebrity chefs. So you're going to have the like of Nobu, Michelle Rostang, Giorgio Locatelli. I mean, it's something that I think we will be the leader in Dubai as far as a culinary experience. One of only a handful of sites in the world that can justifiably claim the title of mega resort, Atlantis will be unique in the region. Linked to the mainland by monorail, water park visitors will be able to access the resort with ease. Work on the project began in 2005, and the hotel plans to open for business in 2008. Moving on now, with the beach and landscaping taking shape, the shoreline apartments on the Palm Jumeirah are welcoming their first residents. After a staggering 25 million man-hours of construction, 500,000 cubic meters of concrete and 220 kilometers of piles, Nakheel has invited owners to inspect their shoreline apartments. A process that involves numerous checks, beginning with the project management team. Okay, so really by the, by the time we're finished painting and installed the tour shares, all we've got left is the timber handrail at this point. Michael Horrigan has overseen the shoreline apartments as project manager. After three years of hard work, he's making last minute checks before handing over one of the clubhouses to Nakheel. The handover process is essentially a quality assurance program. What it's targeted at doing as the contractor completes his works in the apartments and offers it to Nikhil, we go through and verify that all the finishes, fitments and equipment are in accordance with the quality objectives that have been defined at the outset of the project. It's been very effective. We've had a very good result of our quality assurance program. And the handover is making excellent progress, with more than 1,260 properties handed over as of the 1st of April 2007. Well, I think for me this has been one of the most incredible transformation at Shoreline Apartments. The beach where we are today for a long time was our main construction access road, was the area where all of our site buildings were, the workers' amenities. It was a pretty hard-working area for a very long time. Now when you see the beach transformation taking place with the five clubhouses being completed, the palm trees going in, it really is turning into a very beautiful place. We'll have one and a half kilometres of white sand beach running the length of the trunk from the arrival end to the village centre uh, marina at the top and the residents will have the opportunity along the concourse for jogging, for cycling 
uh, just the ability to enjoy what's an incredible view towards Burj Al Arab. And the response from residents has been tremendous. It was pretty exciting the first time, and today I'm completely blown over. This view, I don't think you ever get used to it. It's beautiful every time you come back home. I, I think it's absolutely incredible. The Shoreline Apartments were the first properties to be completed and handed over. At the same time as residents were moving in there, the first signature villas were also in the process of being handed over. This is a signature villa. We're just about ready to hand it over, doing some final commissioning. It's a Riviera floor plan with a uh, Spanish exterior, with a traditional interior theme and kitchens, and a large pool. It's one of 800 options that a, that a client could have. Every client has a beach, and with this one, it's our first view of the Burj Al Rab. David Coletti, project director for the Villa Programme, is responsible for 1,386 villas across the Palm Jumeirah. Like the Shoreline Apartments, the villas are rigorously tested before they are handed over to the owners. We spare no money or effort on making sure that every villa, as it's handed over, is certified to our standards. And that includes, uh, overall program-wide, 70,000 tests on mechanical and electrical systems, 70 on each villa, before we certify that the performance of the villa meets our standards. On our next edition of Palm TV, we take a dive into the Arabian Gulf to explore the underwater marine life surrounding the waters of the Palm Jumeirah. Join us then.